Well, I do say that the Kirby foe, that their Kirby, that their Kirby foe does have some stars of allies, don't he? In it, in it, the rise of British goons. Welcome back, yo! What's up, Spaghetti Saucers? Welcome back to Koibi and the Star Allies. Last time we we went into space. We went to the one place not corrupted by capitalism. I say that, but Maglor's right here. That doesn't really work. No, this is the story. Or like the Tim Carey that says that. I don't remember. It is. You know what, I'm looking it up. Yep, Tim Carey. Me and the future needing to edit this this video together to to have like this like five second clip or like not five second to have this like fifty second clip together to the rest of the video, all because I needed to look up who was escaping to space for capitalism or to get away from capitalism. Space. Don't do it, Kawasaki. I have to be wary, wary. I have to be wary. I have to be afraid. <laughs> I have to be scared. For... What is the word? What are words? I have to be scared that Kawasaki will jump into something. Because aside from Magalore for whatever reason, I think it's just because it's on the friend star. But, uh, yeah, Kawasaki can actually just change everything about himself. What is, what is it like? Words are hard to find. I mean, like, you know, half the time you can't even see them. Like, I'm talking, but do you see words? There might be subtitles on. Imagine if I just, like, go through all the work to put individual subtitles on this one video. For that one joke. Not, not even I. Mr. Gooms, the guy who will do dumbest crap for jokes. When I probably shouldn't, because, like, I feel like a lot of the dumb jokes I make, like, because I'm a small YouTuber, I feel like a lot of the dumb jokes might just be something that people expect. Like, I had to... Ooh, I had this one video, and it was like a vlog when I was in Florida, and it was literally a video that I made just purposely the worst vlog that you had ever seen. But then, like, I didn't upload it because I realized I'm a small channel, and if a small channel does a vlog, and it's absolutely awful, well, people would just, like, expect that. Because, like, I I'm not saying small channels are bad, obviously. Um, I'm just saying that I feel like people expect less out of them. A lot of small channels I've seen are better than the big ones. But, uh, you know, like me, you know. Sometimes. He lived. How? Yeah, you too bad. I mean, if I. Uh, even when I tried to clickbait thumbnail just to see what would happen, that video only has one view. So. Kirby. So it's all in, are you lucky? I have my lucky tie on. This is my lucky tie because I said so. And because I have this, now I have all I need to become the king of all worlds. Let's get out of this level. All right, so here's here's my here's my guide to speedrunning Kirby Star Allies from Nintendo Switch. First, do not take the wrong path. That is a huge time loss. Second, get Ninja. It, it makes you go faster. I think. It probably doesn't, but get it just because. All right, we're in the ice level. 
Now you want to get fighter because it's the best ability. Unfortunately, I did not get fighter. Second, make sure you have Magalore on your team. That might actually be a speedrunning tactic because of how strong Magor is. See, I know what I'm talking about. Alright. Whenever you jump, use the uppercut move. This is actually a Min Jumps Kirby Star Allies episode. I'm bringing back Min Jumps. Um, because. I'm bringing back Min Jumps, but it's not Mario Galaxy. I'm gonna have to notify someone that Moon Jumps is back. However, it is not Mario Galaxy. Now, what I what I just did is a jump. Don't do that in a Min Jumps playthrough. Now, Fighter is a really good ability for Min Jumps because it quite literally just does not need to jump. You have the uppercut. No. Why is the the Roche look sad? He visually looks sad when he was <laughs> cake was stolen. I should do a min jumps Kirby Star Allies. I could do it. If you just believed in me, I could do it. Kirby. Tie is way too long. I mean, you can. It's too long. That makes me sad. I thought about getting just one that you actually tie so that I could, like, at least make it shorter. But I'm too stupid to know how to tie a tie. So I, I just got one of those clip on ones. I mean, technically, the clip on one fits more for the actual character. Because, like, if you look at the Mr. Goom's character, you don't see the tie. It's just kind of a kind of goes down. So it's actually canon that Goons, as in the character, who is still me, you know, it, it, it's very confusing. Mr. Goons, or, or Goons, is a character who is me, but, but also I have to refer to it as a character named Goons, despite it still being me, just origami. You see? Now I have your identity. Surprise, I was toothless the entire time. Um. <laughs> Go away, tears. Um. But yeah, it's canon that Gooms wears a clip on tie. He, he, well, he, he was folded like that. Like, when, when, when you always have to put on tie. Good job, Kawasaki. How, you know, how does that work? I, I don't think we've ever explained the science of how Mr. Gooms happened to get a suit, which is, I, I guess, a lab coat now. Um, and a tie. Uh, that has been We need to question. I mean, I think it's just because becoming origami makes you your best self. Oh, and red hair. I, I've never really even talked about the red hair. Yeah. I want to do a video, like, explaining all of the different, like, characters that have been on, uh... Like, Gooms is really the only actual character, but... That has had lore purposes. But, uh... I want to do a video explaining all the different characters and profile pictures. Hmm. <laughs> Color be surprised. I certainly didn't expect to run into your puffy self again. Because I thought you were going to go on this gymnastion. Well, I'll just have to ensure that my victory is complete this time. I shall now turn this pink ball of nice into a frozen block of ice. I don't remember the voice I did for Francisca. <laughs> I always wanted an ice sculpture for my trophy collection. Write that down. Kirby lore. Francisca has a trophy collection.
Fortune for Princess Mera. Um, Alright, I need the roach. Roach. the lightning move. See when you when you piggyback you basically play as the character so I'm I'm actually mad at it. piggyback off of Magor so I can do the big damage attacks because he never wants to do them against bosses. Wasn't there an episode in Galaxy 2 series where I was trying to say Rome wasn't built in a day, but like I got cut off, so it was just Rome wasn't built. Expressions, France, Rome, they aren't real. Just, this is a joke, by the way. I'm not one of those people that just is like, this isn't real because I said so. Haha. -ha. Um, but... You know. So I should probably exist. I think we're good. I think we have time for all of these levels up until one. And if it isn't, if this video is a bit longer than normal, then your your mom got him. Good thing we have to roach on the team. He's going to be very helpful this boss. Spoilers? I like how I've just gotten rid of Gooey. Literally, I said, let's add Gooey. He's become a part of this team, and then I just added Kawasaki last episode. And since then, Kawasaki's been here. Fighting Mr. Frosty. Alright, there we go. Mr. Frosty has been eradicated once again. Poor Frosty. Or Flosty. I just called him by his real name for the first time ever on this channel. Oh, Tetris level. This is actually very dangerous. Um, crushing is one of the few ways your friends will ever die in this game. It's the only actual, like, threat in this game. If you are using friends all the time like I am. Personally, I think it's better for content. To have friends. And also it makes the game easier. Oh, and if you get crushed along with all your friends, it, it, it all goes to zero. All goes to zero. Is that an actual expression? Expressions aren't real. I also went from saying that expressions aren't real to becoming Australian and to take expressions literally. To, this, is, this would be a great out of context. Um, to take expressions literally and then proceed to go back to believing in the expressions are in fact not real upon not being Australian anymore. What is this? Is this canon? Is this to Mr. Goom's lore? I mean, I, everything is canon. How about that? I remember when the Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter tweeted that, that everything is canon. Give me fire. 
Mundo. Mundo. Yeah, uh... Expressions aren't real. That's what the point of everything was. That's the real plot of Mr. Goons. To just delete expressions altogether. They weren't needed. They were unnecessary. They were an obstacle. We must take everything literally from now on. And by that logic. I mean, you know, Mr. Hume's lore is intense. Anything could be canon. Anything I do and or say, real. Maybe. I don't know. I wonder how many just, like, dumb things I've said. Like, you know what I mean. I, I know I made a lot of, like, diabetes jokes in the Galaxy 2 series. Anytime there was a character. That might have been dark. There was the whole the King Boo. King Boo smoking thing. Okay. Things happen. Kirby. I don't know why, like, I, I put jokes in quotation marks because it is not funny not to laugh. Superstar Ultra for some reason. It was a good game. Like while I was doing that series, I, I just wanted to like play Superstar Ultra just on my own time, but it was a somewhat blind series. Or not like blind series, but a series where I was in the dark about a lot of things because I haven't played the game in like a decade. Um But uh yeah, and uh, I, I just kind of wanted to play the game, even though I was meant to be doing a series of it. But, you know. I don't know what I was just doing with the glove. These gloves are kind of uncomfortable. I mean, like, not really. It just feels like they're too small. So they don't feel like they're just an extension of my hands. They feel like something I'm wearing. Imagine, like, you know what I mean, like, when you wear a shirt, you don't really feel like you're wearing a shirt. You just, you know, it, it just feels like, oh yeah, I'm wearing a shirt, that's just, that's just a thing that's happening. But like, I don't know, these gloves, I always feel them. I always feel the pain of these gloves. <laughs> the pain. I'm in constant pain wearing these gloves. I don't know, if I, if I had to compare it, it's like... You know how in like cartoons or movies or whatever you always get like the like in Christmas stuff it's like the the itchy ugly Christmas sweater. That's kind of what it feels like, just on my hands. Anyways, I, I like how Deroach shot the guy through the wall, so any challenge that could have had was just immediately eliminated. They, they've had good picks for the Dream Friends. I don't think I ever mentioned that. I mean, like, there, there are other characters you could have, like... A Adeline... She was a main character, I guess, but, like... I don't know. Why not put, like, Zero in there? No, just have... Like, obviously he'd be, like... Shrunk. Like, Marks can still go into his, like... Demon mode thing. He's just his normal size. Just make... Because the... the 
the big bad of this game. And, and like art and stuff. He's he's just kind of a mini little dude when they do like anniversary arts. They're just kinda of tiny. And like he's cool. And like they could just do that if he ever reappears. Well, if he ever reappears, we'll get to that. Probably will reappear. Yeah, there, there's a lot of lore with this guy that I can't explain until we get to the very end of the game. And it's just built up, because like I said, this is the Kirby game that actually got me interested in Kirby lore. Aside from just like, funny pink ball. And, uh, this was a game where I, this has some pretty nice lore. And then, uh, that's when it happened. Anyways, like I said, the roach is going to be very helpful. if I can do this... Thanks, thanks Maglor for stunning him so that he damages me even more. He's such a nice guy, Maglor. Roach. They know the AI. It's not fair. You know, you ever consider that how like games? You ever video game? Sometimes oh yeah, Krakow! He exists. You thought he wasn't real? Carrying me around. You may have noticed that uh, Kawasaki has a uh, Tide Pod thing over there. <laughs> it's the colors of a Tide Pod, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, he has got a little bar over there. That'll let him do the, the normal cook move. And he's actually really useful because he, he's kind of like a healer character. So, Kawasaki's pretty useful. They, of course, make Kawasaki one of the strongest friends in the game. I feel like Kawasaki could have just been a dream friend. Like, he hasn't- he's not really an important character in, like, the games, though. But, like, still, he's a pretty iconic mini-boss that, like... I mean, even that, he, he, he like, appears in a lot of mini-games. He's, he's in the Samurai Kirby, he's one of the bosses in the Kirby gun game, whatever it was called. Kirby gun game. Kirby gun game. Um, and the other game, I, I did play the, the mini-games of Super Star Ultra on my own time. There, there's, there is one where Kirby's in the Wild West, and they, they give Kawasaki an actual gun. That was a thing that happened. And, uh, yeah, Kamasaki is pretty iconic, actually, like, even in the games. See, he has a he has a big role in the anime. Did I mention that apparently people don't like the anime? It was very unfortunate when I heard about that. I got the people say that like Dreamland too, though. So <laughs> their opinion differs from mine, therefore it's wrong. Mr. Roach, I didn't know you could do that. I probably did at one point. Gotta go get rock. I swore to never use rock unless needed. It, 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 it's just a bad memory. Gosh, take it. Do the thing. Hello. I need the wind thing. No. Am I gonna have to delete DeRoach to do this? I'm sorry, little one. Do it! 
could have just done this. Man, this is a, an unfortunate time. We had to kill the roach, we had to use stone. Sad time to be in here right now. And it's all because of marks. all for nothing. There was no treasure. There was no... I had to kill the roach for nothing. <laughs> He's done so much for the team. You just throw him away like that. He's not dead, though. They're, they're only dead if they're killed by marks. That's how it works. Forced to be my friend now. Uh -huh. Everything sucks. This game is bad. Bad game. See, this is why everyone doesn't like this game. This is why people don't like this game. I'm gonna force you to use stone. Because everyone else has had that experience with that. Once I get the treasures, stop. Once I, once I get the treasures, I'm going to delete room pattern 57 times. Ow. Put me in physical pain. Dude, Kirby, Kirby Star Allies. I just realized this, this switch is a hybrid console. I think we're good. I don't think we'll... We'll have any, uh, Dreamland 2 moments. Like, the, uh... The, the handheld curse, uh, started with Dreamland- or the handheld curse started with Luigi's Mansion 2. But we're calling it the Dreamland 2 moment. See, cause here's the thing. Luigi's Mansion 2 just made me use an alternative. To, uh, to get it done with. Dreamland 2 made me made me rage quit. So did Canvas Curse, but you know that's irrelevant. Wait, I have an idea. You dare try to stop my plan, Kawasaki? The perfect team. <laughs> Finally, the true army is starting to rise. This is the, the Kirby villain arc. Does it come undone there? I'll just have to hold on to it. Just right, guys. Let's play Kirby. Yeah, if you input the right combination during the Kirby dance to the rhythm of the Kirby dance, you get 83 lives. Guys, ready to fight Sizali Moon? Extra Planet Y. No, you're lying to me. You've activated all big switches hidden in the world. You heard it here. No more big switches in Kirby. We finally did it. We got all of the big switches in the world.
so I, at the start of this episode, I said I'm gonna have to edit the rest of the episode in with that 50 second clip and it, it actually happened. I don't think I didn't see that. I don't think I see your secrets, game. Or don't see your secrets. I got worried there for a second. I thought lava was another way to- it probably is, it's just that he didn't land on the lava. Which was lucky. I swear I don't remember there being time to burst in this game. Alright, use your uh... This isn't the final boss, I don't know why I'm, I mean, Flame Bridge is cool, I guess I can hype it up. Flame Bridge is my favorite. Bah! I don't remember what the voices I did for any of them. Who would have thought my search for the Jamba Heart pieces would lead me back to you when you're puffery? This must be the fiery flames of fate at work. Oh yeah. My flames and I are fully stoked now. Beware, you puny pink pest. In the name of Lord Highness, I'll turn you into a burning ball of meddlesomeness. I have respect. I, I think there's a delivery guy outside, and he saw that I was recording. So he... yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I, it doesn't really matter, but still. I appreciate the concern. Based in delivery mode. Hard game. got to show off that. All other times I've tried to show off that they, they have weakness moves that it doesn't work. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. weird without the gloves. I don't know, without the gloves I just look like I am the mad I, can't, I I look like Doofensmirtz. I'm actually just Doofensmirtz. Don't pair those two games together. Don't you ruin Squeak Squad's greatness. I should really play Amazing Mirror. I'll probably like it. I really am just doofin' smarts. Does doofin' smarts have a purple tie? I feel like he, he does at one point. Doofin' smarts was not the inspiration for the, the design. There wasn't really a- the inspiration was Metopia. Mandra base. Alright, well I'll see you next time in the, the finale. So yeah, bye.